Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do or we will continue our discussion about multiplying fractions. So obviously, this is the part 2 of our previous topic, kung paano ba talaga mag-multiplying fractions. So, I hope na maraming mga parents, even mga titos and titas, and students who are in elementary level, ang pwede manood na mga videos natin. So without further ado, let's start multiplying fractions. So we have here example number one. Uh, by the way, I have four different examples. And then at the end of this video, I will allow you to apply what you have learned from this tutorial video na meron tayo. So we have here example number one, five over six times three over four. Again, five over six times three over four. So first thing na kailangan gawin dito is ipapakita ko sa inyo yung conventional way on how to do multiplying fractions. So review muna tayo ha. We are multiplying fractions in this kind of way. Una, syempre we need to copy the given fraction first. I will show you two different solutions. You have 5 over 6 times 3 over 4. Pag nag-multiply ka ng fractions, ang minumultiply natin ay yung numerator at numerator, tapos denominator and the other denominator. Let's say for example, this one. Yung 5 natin, you will multiply 5 by 3. So, that is 5 times 3. That will give you 15. And then for the denominators, you will be multiply, multiplying 6 and 4. So, that will give you 6 times 4. Their product is 24. So, ang next na target mo ritong gawin, or kung ikaw yung batang nag-aaral nito, kailangan, kapag, kahit ang operation ng fractions, ang gagawin mo, you need to uh, maintain or you need to consider ay yung sagot ko ba or yung final answer ko ba ay naka lowest terms na. So kung hindi pa, you need to think if meron silang common factor or meron silang greatest common factor. So dito, we have 15 and 24. Their, their greatest common factor is 3. So, paano ba natin simplify ito? Yung ginagawa ng ibang bata, papakita natin, we have 15 over 24 at since ang kanilang greatest common factor is 3, you will be dividing the numerator and denominator by 3. So, 15 divided by 3, that will give you 5. And then, 24 divided by 3, that will give you an 8 as your quotient. So the final answer for the first example na meron tayo, I 5 over 8. Okay? So I hope naging clear yung ating explanation in multiplying those two fractions. I know na marami nang nakakalam nito, but it's important for us to uh, refresh ourselves para mas master natin yung topic. So in this kind of example, I will show you another way on how to do it. Kasi diba, kung mapansin nyo, ang ginawa natin, nag-simplify pa tayo ng fractions. What if, gumamit tayo ng cancellation method? Kasi, sa multiplying fractions, it is better for you to multiply smaller numbers compared na magmumultiply ka pa ng mas malaki, ma malalaking numbers. So, ano ba yung ibig ko sabihin? Copyin natin yung, ano, yung mismong given natin fractions. You have 5 over 6 times... 3 over 4. E yung way na gagawin natin ngayon is para mapabilis yung trabaho natin sa pagmamultiply. So, paano ba ginagawa natin dito? So, as you can see, uh, you can cancel out some things about this. So, for example, ito, meron tayong 5 and 4. You need to see if meron ba tayong pwede mag-cancel sa 5. Sa, sa 4, wala naman. Pero, as you can see, meron tayong 6 and 3. Yung 6 and 3 natin, Para silang merong greatest common factor na 3. So, we can have this 5 over 6. Ay, dito na tayo sa ibabaw. Itong 3 natin, meron siyang 1. So, we can divide 3 by 3. So, it will give you 1. And then, yung 6 natin, alam natin na we can factor out 6 by 3 times 2. At alam natin na when we divide 6 by 3, it will give you 2. So, 
Paano ba talaga yung mismo itsura niya kapag ano ba talaga yung nangyayari? Parang ganito lang. You have 5 over yung 6 natin, you can rewrite it as 3 times 2. At yung iyong next fraction, yung 3 natin, it can be written as 3 times 1 over 4. In this way, pwede mo nang makancel yung 3 na meron tayo. Okay? So, multiplying these numbers, 5 times 1, that will give you 5. And then, 2 times 4, that will give you 8. So, medyo mahaba yung ating explanation, but trust me, mas mabilis yung process na yan. Kasi nga, in multiplying fraction, it is better for you to multiply smaller numbers compared na magmumultiply ka sa mas malalaking numbers. Okay? So, let's move on with example number 2. So, we have here 5 over 6 times 8. Again, 5 over 6 times 8. So, in conventional way on how to do it, you have 5 over 6 times 8. Ito yung kailangan yung tatandaan. Kapag meron kayo nakitang whole number, automatic, meron siya rito invisible 1 na denominator. Conventional way, multiply natin yung 5 and 8. That will give you 40. Tapos yung 6 times 1, it will give you 6. And then simplifying these numbers, so I think they're, the greatest common factor is 2. So we will be dividing the numerator and denominator by 2. So, ang bibigyan natin sagot natin dito is 20 over 3. So, pwede na maging answer yan. Pero yung iba kasing teacher o yung iba kasing references, uh, they're accepting mixed numbers instead of improper fraction. So, gawin natin itong improper mixed number. So, we will divide 20 by 3 20 divided by 3 that is 6 and then 6 times 3 that will give you 18 subtract it meron ka ngayon remainder na 2 so ang ating mixed number ay 6 and then yung remainder mo magiging numerator at yung iyong divisor that is your denominator so either of the two pwede nang tanggapin 20 over 3, or 6 and 2 thirds. That's it. So, para naman yung isa pang way, para mas mabilis yung trabaho natin in multiplying numbers or fractions. You have 5 over 6 times 8. Okay? Again, in over 1. Alam natin na parehas divisible by 2, ang 6 sa 8. So, meron silang greatest common factor na 2. So, we can write it as 5 over 6, ah, sorry, 5 over 3 times 2, 6 pa rin naman yan, times 4 times 2, over 1. As you can see, meron tayong parehas na 2. You can cancel it out, and then i-multiply mo lang yung remaining numbers sa numerator at denominator. 5 times 4, that is 20, and then two, 3 times 1, that will give you 3. That's it. That is the answer. Or kung gusto mo mas madali, ganito ang ginagawa ng ibang bata rito. Papakita ko lang sa inyo. Eh. Ito, since alam nilang may greatest common factor ang 6 and 8 na 2, kinakansel nila to, at ginagawa nilang 4. Because 8 divided by 2, that is 4. Etong 6 naman, kinakansel nila, ang inalagay nila dito ay 3. And then multiply the numbers. You have 5 times 4, 20. 3 times 1, that will give you 3. And then, ang ating mixed number is none other than 6 and 2 thirds. So, it's up to you if you want the conventional way on how to do it o kung gusto niyo yung mas mabilis. Okay? So, let's move on to item number 3. We still have two examples. Ito. Yung first na given natin is a mixed number. So, basically, Nakikita ko sa isa mismo ano, sa mismong mga videos na in-upload ko. What if, sir, uh, you will be multiplying two mixed numbers? E sa case kasi natin, dito sa example na to, meron lang tayong isang mixed number. Don't worry kasi, same lang ang process. If may makikita kang mixed number, 
automatic, you need to transform it into, a, into an improper fraction. So, copy natin yung given natin. So, you have here, try natin isang, ano lang, isang solution. 3 and 2 over 5 times 4 over 3. Tandaan, in converting a mixed number to an improper fraction, you need to multiply, then add. Again, you need to multiply and add. So, we have here, kopyahin mo na yung, yung denominator na 5. Ang problema mo na lang ay yung numerator. 3 times 5, that is 15, plus 2, 17. Again, para naging 17 over 5, multiply mo yung denominator na 5 sa home number. 3 times 5, 15, plus 2, that will give you 17. Times 4 over 3. So, meron ba tayong pwede makancel? Wala. So, we will do the conventional way. 14 times 17. 14 times 17. So, that is 68. Right? 4 times 10, that is 40. 4 times 7, 28. 40 plus 28, 68. Over 15. So, meron pa bang way para mga lowest term yan? So, wala na yata. So, ang natin ngayon, we will convert it to mixed number. So, 68 divided by 15. This is 4. Kasi 60. 4 times 15, 60. 68 minus 60, that will give you 8. So, meron pa ba? Okay. So, ang mismong Mixed number equivalent kay 68 over 15 ay 4 and 8 over 15. These are the possible answers. So, ayan na. Kung meron mo kayo makita ang dalawang mixed number na kailangan i-multiply, ang basic na kailangan nyo gawin is to transform the mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay? Para mas ano, para hindi kayo kabahan kapag napansin nyo na, ay, iba na, iba na yung setup. Okay? Let's move on with the fourth and last example na meron tayo. So, you have here three fractions. Three fractions. Okay. So, baguhin ito ng konti para makita nyo yung isang ating gagawin. Let's do this. Let's write it as 8 over 5. Okay. Binago natin example natin. So, conventional way, you have 5 over 6 times 3 over 4 times 8 over 5. Multiply lahat ng numerator. Medyo malaki. So, you have 5 times 3, that will give you 15. And then, 15 times 8, that is 0, 4. Then, 8 times 1, 8. So, 120. So, your numerator is 120 over. Tandaan na, multiply ka 5 times 3, 15 times 8, 120. And then, for your denominator, hmm, 6, uh, sorry, 6 times 4, that will give you 24, right? Times 5, that is 120. And, Mapansin nyo, yung ating numerator and denominator ay parehas. So, parang, ang isipin nyo dyan, 6, 120 divided by 120, that is equal to 1. Again, kapag parehas yung numerator at denominator, ang lowest term nun is equal to 1. So, yun yung conventional way natin. Mabilis lang, ba? So, let's do the other method na pwede natin gamitin. You have 5 over 6 times 3 over 4 times 8 over 5. So, conventional way, ang sinin natin mabuti ito, ah, you have here mm, yung 5 pares dito, you can cancel out 5. Right? So, mga wala na yan. Magiging 1 na lang yan. Yung 8 natin and 4 are both divisible by 4. So, 4 divided by 4, this is 1. 
8 divided by 4, this is 2. Okay? At kung mapansin nyo, yung numerator na 3 at yung denominator na 6, yung par parehas silang divisible by 3. So we can eliminate 3 and replace it by 1. At yung 6 natin, magiging 2. Pero hindi pa rin tatapos. As you can see, yung 2 natin, may 2 tayo rito. We can eliminate that. We can also eliminate 2 here, magiging 1 and 1. And multiplying all those numbers, 1 times 1, times 1, that will give you 1. 1 times 1, times 1, that will give you 1. And 1 over 1 is none other than 1. This is the answer for item number 4. So, you hope sa ating four different examples, nakita niyo yung different situations na pwede niyo ma-encounter in multiplying fractions. So, I have here three different items na kung saan you can directly apply what you have learned from this tutorial video para makita ko naman na nakakatulong yung ating um, problem sa ating video. So, I hope na pwede niyo comment sa ating comment section yung mga answers nyo rito. Don't worry kasi okay lang yan kahit makita ng iba para ma-practice natin yung inyong mga natutunan dito. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka lagi sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Mara